What is going on, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Definitely Not Fried Chicken, where we are not just going to be making fried chicken. We're going to be making donuts. We're going to have a laundromat, but those are just a front for all the nefarious deeds we're going to be doing by growing our own secret blend of herbs and spices, if you know what I mean, plus some other unsavory flavors. So let's get a new game going, and let's roll right into this. Welcome into this beautiful world of Definitely Not Fried Chicken. I am going to start us off with a nice little plot. And I'm thinking, let's go here. So I skipped the tutorial so I could choose where I wanted to live. So if I go to the factory, I go to subplots and I look like here, for instance, I'm gonna live here. And I'm gonna show you why. And we're gonna take uh, that plot too. We'll take the one to the left. I like playing to the left. I don't know, I'm just kind of left facing. So let's go to the build. And the first thing we're gonna set ourselves up with is our garages. And this is why you want to set yourselves up on a road so you don't have to build one and lose precious space. So I'm going to throw down four of these bad Larrys. And then I'm going to go to the building section. We're going to go to the staff. Uh, nope, sorry. The grow room is what I want next. And we're going to build. I think that'll be a bit overkill. Let's start here and see what I've got. We can always adjust as needed. So for growing... Um, I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to need a little extra space right here. Bring that out a smidge. Then I'm going to get two drying racks, which I'll put up here. I feel like I'm off a bit, but it's okay. Let's see. And then I'll get some cutting boards right here. And then let's grab ourselves a door. Throw that there. Next, I'm going to build a storeroom. And I like to just attach it right here. That should be good enough. And I want to throw in two packing stations. One, two. And then I'm going to throw in two shelves. It leaves me an empty space here, but we can just use that for later. I'm going to build ourselves a door here. And a door. I think I'm going to just build a door over here, actually, like this. And I'll just use this for expansion later. So let's build ourselves a kitchen next. And let's go kitchen right here. Oh, that's a toilet. A kitchen right here. And let's just kind of build a bigger one like this. Big kitchens are pretty useful, honestly. You know, it makes a little... Well, it's, we'll expand later, so this should be okay. Let's go one, two, three of these. I'm going to grab a fridge, a stove, a table, which I'll put here, and then a sink. Oh, well, let's uh, move the table down a bit. Let's put a sink. I'll do it. Oopsies. Do a sink right next to this. And then in here, we're going to throw down a coffee machine. Oh, I can't put it on there because of how close this is. It's unfortunate. I'm going to put this here for a minute. Yeah, I'm going to have to expand this a bit more. Do this. Move these back a bit. Because then I can put these back here like that. Now we can go with a microwave. I can grab a cutting board and a coffee maker. And actually with that, that's all the space I really need in here. So let's demolish that down and I can put a waste bin here and then we can throw a door right here. And let's build a bathroom next, staff toilet. I'll just do one of these and we'll go, one should just be fine for now. Staff toilet. Actually, you know what? Let me do this. Toilet. Hand thing. Let me change this to a corridor. That's not what I want a corridor build. Like that. Doors. There we go. And then over here will be a bedroom. Build this up. And, you know, I kind of want to make sure that they are good to go. So let's put the good beds in here. 
There we go. Beautiful. So now we've got bedrooms, we've got a kitchen, we got a we don't have a break room actually. I'll put a break room here, just a nice small one perhaps for a little entertainment. Yeah. Staff break room. Forgot I always forget about the break room. So I can do that, and then we can make this the only entryway in and out of the place. And then we can put a TV. You know what? This is not going to be big enough. Hmm. This room is just a bit too big, it seems. But you know what? That's fine. Provide some average entertainment for sitting and watching TV. We can just do a chair and a television. So this will be your level of entertainment. That will give you video games as well. There we go. And then the other, another chair can just go and sit here. That's good enough for them, I think. Just a small little break room. All of these rooms have access points. Beautiful. Oh, shoot. I had the day going, too. Damn it. Oh, well, we didn't waste too much time here. Now, after this, so we've got our grow room set up. We got to do a few things before we move on from here. The first thing, I'm going to hire four employees, and they're all going to be workers, okay? And the reason for that is I'm going to be a little cheeky in the beginning for when the major senses first wave at us. So I want to maximize profits first. So we'll get those, and let's create a schedule. This will be my schedule for the factory workers here because they live here, so they can go and take an hour and do whatever they want. So they're going to work to the damn bone, okay? They're working for 18 hours of this day. We'll see how well this works. I'm pretty sure it's going to work pretty fine, though. I don't feel like there'll be any problems. If there is, we'll pivot slightly. No big deal. So let's go to the people, and let's maximize all their things here so we can see them. Beautiful. Hello, people. And you're going to be factory first, second, third, and fourth so oops uh boop boop fourth third there we go and i also want to go into all their inventories and buy them a pair of gardening gloves for a 50 percent cooldown on cannabis plants that's going to be huge for us so we're going to grab those little gardening gloves and the last set of gardening gloves perfect and we also need to set their task to be gardening or cannabis and shipping so now they're going to cook us up some cilantro and package and ship it, which is perfect for us. Excellent. So now we are all set here. We can let the game run. However, I don't want to because it is 6 a.m. Because we're going to start our next business, which is going to be the laundromat. I am bringing us all the way up to the max level for the laundromat. And we are going to go find a business. And I'm going to use... Oh, actually, that one looks pretty good there. So one, we need to be have the laundromat and two like that's massive i don't need that for this laundromat at least i think this will be good for us like this is pretty small and i think relative to like where we are it's not too far right there to there it's not terribly far so that'll be pretty good so we're gonna purchase this and we're gonna set this to be a business type of a laundromat set that and this is where the drop off is gonna be here so Let's get building for our laundromat. So I'm going to build my storeroom. And I'm just going to build a small storeroom like... I think a 3x4 is honestly going to be good enough here. Let's put a door here. Like this. Also just going to like change my window settings. Do this. And then I'm going to throw in... Two shelves. One, two. Actually, you know what? We can even just kind of tone this tone this down a bit. If I need to make it bigger, I can later, I think. I just want to be mindful of my cash right now. So that'll be good there. And then let's build our actual laundromat. So we're going to go with the laundromat here. We're going to build. We need this to be quite large, honestly. So I'm going to start here and see where I end up. Right, so I'm going to grab some counters. So here's a counter with a flap. I think this will be okay. And then I go counter, counter, corner, corner. Then if I go detergent sale, K, 
cash register. And then I grab a corner piece. I think that's great right there, honestly. And then we're going to use these fast washer and dryers. So I'm going to go with a dryer. One, two, three, four. I think four might be fine for now. Yeah, let's start with four. Then we'll grab these fast washers. Same thing. One, two, three, four. I want to make sure we have plenty of space for this. And then I'm also going to throw a gumball machine in here and a magazine rack just to keep people happy. And I feel like I have a bit of extra space here, perhaps. So actually, I would like it like this, I think. There's a lot of open space in the middle, but I think that'll be fine. Then I can do a, the magazine rack over here. Yep, I think this is good. Let's demolish this. Then we need a door. Plop a white door. Um, I'll put it over here so it's kind of like away from everybody. And then let's get a bench here. Maybe this is a bad idea. You know what? Let's put a bench over here in the corner, make use of that space. I feel like these should be flipped like that. That's good. And then we need a bathroom. So if you go here to business, you can see cleaner at all business hours, accessible customer toilet. So we need to have those available. So let's go with our customer toilet first. And actually, I kind of... Yeah, we'll just build a staff toilet over here and a break room there. So we'll do our customer toilet. But maybe the customer toilet. We'll just go here. Nah. Nah, nah. I'll do the staff toilet there. And then I'll do the customer toilet over here. Uh, one more. And then I can go... Like toilet, toilet, try and get two toilets in here. Get a sink, blow dryer, a door, and then over here will be another door. Then for the staff toilet, this really only needs to be one. So this is honestly a bit bigger than necessary. So let's demolish this. And then I can go with a sink. And one of these and actually I might just turn it like this so that space is open in the middle all right I think this looks pretty good it's not the most beautiful thing but we're trying to be frugal right and actually you know what? just I'm just gonna make this slightly bigger just to make myself feel better there we're obviously trying to be slightly frugal so that way we're not handicapping ourselves too much in the beginning here so let's hire our employees now so here I'm gonna want three employees but for now I only want well, oh, $5 an hour. You know, it's not going to make a difference. Let's just hire all three. And I need to set up three schedules for them now. So here are my front schedules here. I've got 6 to 8, 9 to midnight, and then 10 to 7 a.m. Again, these schedules should be pretty okay. If not, we'll just do a quick pivot. No big deal. So let's go to the employees, the people. I've got my three workers. And I'm going to set you guys to front one, fronts two, and fronts three, or nights. So the night guy is just going to be stalking, and then the others will do both all day. Fronts one will only work the shop. So fronts one is like our main worker, right? Daily cost, 165 so far. We do need an engineer, and I'm going to set him up to be set for fronts one. So he comes in during the day and he's just there during the working hours to get things fixed and repaired. And I think I'm going to set these guys to be like this beige color. Beautiful. And then we need a cleaner. I think I might need two, but maybe one's just fine. And I'm going to set you up to be out at fronts one. Nice. And now you can see we have a four star business. So how we got that is, you know, we've got the top license purchase. We've got 
a cleaner all business hours. We've got accessible customer toilet and all products available. We can get one more when we get the marketing on billboards, but that'll take a bit because uh, that's 20 grand. So yeah, bite my bum. That's not going to happen for quite some time. But just so you know, to get your cleaner bonus, you are either going to need to have two cleaners working all hours because break times do not count. So it has to be working every single hour that business is open for. So we're going to open the business and we'll start this game up and let this kind of rack through. You can see we have 4,500 schmeckles right now. And if we come back to here, this will start to, to work through. So we're looking good here. I might need to increase this. I'm not sure if four of these of each is enough. I might have to do five, which will be potentially okay. So we'll see. We'll just kind of speed this up a bit now and we can come back over to our factory here. There it is. You can see our growers are doing great. One of them won't work for just a smidge of time because only three of them really work at any given moment. So that's okay. And I want to let these gather up a bit. So you can see we're only making one star and that's because we don't have any lights. And in order for us to have lights, we need engineers to be able to maintain them. Otherwise, when they break, we'll never get them back, right? So with that in mind, I'm going to slow it down for one second. With that in mind, we're not going to have any to start us off with, okay? We're just going to start us off with some basic cannabis and we'll slowly work ourselves up. Coming back over here, you can see now, I'm going to speed it up again. We're selling detergents in here. They're asking for cannabis. We got 14 bucks there, 14 bucks there. It looks like we, we're probably okay with our business model currently. Getting some gumballs. That gumball costs $6. That's ridiculous. So as you can see here, they're asking for cannabis. So we are going to be, you know, I kind of want to move that door. I want to move this door. I don't like it here. Shouldn't be on the main road like this. There we go. I like that better. I like that better. It's, you know, a little shysty, a little snaky over here. Yeah. So, but I believe this is where my mopeds will go eventually once we get there and we will baby. So this is doing its thing. If we come back to our factory, you can see we have a few products being packaged now. So what I'm going to do is this, we're going to start setting up our delivery route and I'm going to send a couple over to the university first. So if we go here to delivery, Remember, you don't need the hotline for these delivery routes. You only need them to get inbound orders. So I'm going to send two to the university like this and then two to my laundromat. Is he doing the thing? Yeah, he's doing the thing. So they're stacked up and ready to go. So I'm going to just double check to see. I'm going to watch them for a minute here because I need to do something cheeky for the first time the major's gonna try and come to us. And that's gonna be right here. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna be cheeky. I'm gonna move this door. It's going to make our people very upset and get like Stockholm Syndrome. And it's absolutely hilarious. Look at them, look at them. You take away the door, they start to panic because they're locked in like they're prisoners. However, this is for your safety, I promise you, okay? because the major is about to send over his little cucking hens and we are not prepared for that because we don't have anyone on defense because we don't need it yet. He's going to send his boys to cluck me up. I'm going to cluck you up, sir. And as you can see, look, there's his boys and they can't do anything with their little rooster bums because, well, they, they don't, there's no door for them to get in. So yeah, business is halted for a moment. However, that's only going to last until these guys disappear, which won't take us long. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Go cluck off. Come on. Get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Don't you got some clam shells to eat or something? Let's go. Go back home. Get away from my secret herbs and spices. Bam's one's gone and the other disappeared. We can put that door back on now. Sorry to scare the crap out of all of you. And now you're all ready to go back to work. So now I don't know when the next attack wave will be. However, it's at least not for some time. Uh, he's going to ask for some drugs. I'm going to just tell him no to F off. We got other shit to do. I'm not here for freebies, okay? Laundromat's looking good. You can see we've made some cash, so we probably actually sold some cannabis here. 
I'm gonna check the delivery route. Yeah, we've got a guy coming. Let's keep an eye on this and see uh, how this cannabis route goes. Wait, where'd he go? Where is he going? What's happening here? I don't know what he's doing. What are these guys doing? Stay out of my areas. Need some doors with locks on it because like these guys are just doing whatever the heck they want and I can't tell them no. Customer bathroom's good. See our maintenance guy is keeping up well. Fix my gumball machine. I get $6 for those gumballs. They better be ready. So she's a little upset. And I wish I could like see their info more so when I click on them, but not sure which one it was now, if it was you. She's hungry. Do I not have a thing for food? Oh, we don't have a break room. Oh, you goon, you didn't build a break room. That's okay. Let's build a break room now. So let's do this. Thought something felt off here. Build a break room, staff break room. I'm gonna build it. I kind of want to build it here actually. Yeah, I'm gonna build it here. We'll move all that stuff over. And then in the break room, I'm gonna throw a TV right there. We'll throw a nice little green couch here. We're gonna put a maybe double TV. I don't think that really matters. We'll put a coffee machine here. We'll put a, I've, I can actually put a fridge in. Hold on, we'll keep the coffee machine. We'll go with the fridge and then How much money do I have? I've got I've got plenty of cash actually. We could probably make this pretty decent, right? Make this pretty good for them. Oops. Move these over. Move that over. I'll put this here. We'll put this here. And then we can do actually I might even just do something like this real fast. Coffee machine behind there. And then I can do a countertop here and here. Oops, not sure. I put the door away. Door goes there. And uh, I need a cutting board. It's facing the wrong way. There we go. A cutting board, a microwave. I've got a coffee machine. Gives employees a great energy boost. So the coffee machine is better than the coffee maker. So we'll keep that. This is good. Let's then build a sink and then an oven. Maybe I avoid the oven for now. I think that's too much for them. They don't, they don't need that much stuff. They're not that useful to me. Right? Right. So I'll throw a, I'll throw like two chairs in. Oh, it says it's for watching TV, not relaxing. So these guys can just eat my butt. So this is a big room, but that's okay. Let's rebuild the bathroom real fast. And I'll build the bathroom. Move this over here and I'll build the bathroom here. So we'll throw a door down right there. And let's do a staff toilet. Build. I'll just do that. And then I go staff toilet. I'll do I'll just do a double staff toilet since I have the space for it. Double staff toilet, this, that, hand dryer. Cool. Okay. Sorry about that, business peoples. I didn't mean to handicap you like this. Yeah, you guys go have some lunch, three-star meals. Yeah, you're, you're all fantastic people. Love all of you, okay? And I apologize for being such a slave driver. Okay, so with that in mind, oh, I think I sold the drugs. I wasn't paying attention again. So you can see we've got ourselves pretty well partioned right now. I've actually got 10 points. So if we pause real quick, I can go over to the university where we're working. I've go to clothes. I can get the gardener's outfit and let's outfit our boys here. So we can go grower number one. Let's go um, employees, workers, view inventory. And you can see we have a, a torch here as well. I don't know where that came from. Um, but I've got gardener's outfit for a buck 70. So we'll take that. Uh, whoops. I always get turned around in the inventory here cause it's everything's so bland and the same. Throw that on, throw that on, 
and throw gardener's outfit. There we go. So now all of our workers are going super strong. We're selling a little bit of droogs to our boys here at this shop. This is actually now closed down. So we'll be shutting down momentarily here. What is what is their problem? You're hungry? We'll go do something about it. What's your problem? Oh, it's just not their time for their break. That's their problem. That's all right. They get breaks enough of the time. So the day is going to be over here in a second. I might actually alternate their schedules a bit, but I'll check into that a little later. But as you can see, brothers, sisters, I think this right here is kind of like the perfect start because now that we got the droog showing up, we will be selling these level two drugs over at our laundromat. I believe they sell for about like 300 a piece, maybe maybe like 280 or something like that. And we're going to progressively get points in right now university because that's where I'm sending them. I want the gardener's hat and then next I'm going to go to the scrapyard because I want to get the AOE emitters so I can start making better quality. Or I might stay at the university and unlock toasted cannabis. So we'll kind of play this out by ear. But brothers, sisters, if you really enjoyed Definitely Not Fried Chicken. Make sure you're hitting that like button down below. Double check to make sure you're subscribed while you're down there. Leave me some comments. Let me know about any tips, tricks that I don't know along the way. Anything that you're just doing or just any little fun emote that you'd like. But all right, we're going to wrap it up here. So until next time, stay shabby.